We need to get to know each other. We need to get to know uh, our challenges, our opportunities, our areas of strength, where we can collaborate. We need to do it before the disaster strikes. We need it to do it before the emergency happens. So we need to do it when we have the time to do it. I also think that you know, th this is a really great triangular relationship that's possible it's you know the military and uh, you know uh, nat national disaster management authority or disaster management agencies we all have different names for these in different countries but those who come from the international zone who come to meet the humanitarian workers but the third corner of that triangle the third partner are either the militaries or the disaster management agencies of the countries within which the disaster is now occurring and you know the militaries have a great amount that they can learn off each other but i think the disaster management authorities have you know huge amounts that they can learn both in terms of response but then in preparedness early response good preparation, good mitigation can save a huge amount of costly response that's costly financially and costly in human terms. In many ways you need to practice before you do. It's a very difficult thing to do. In fact, the nature of our professional careers makes it very difficult to practice, particularly for operational roles. That's where we think that involving people in exercise programs is increasingly important. We also need to look at developing other, uh, perhaps desktop exercises, uh, which will enable people to learn uh, by doing uh, in what we call a, a virtual or a constructed uh, environment. It's important for people to have opportunities to learn in an exercise environment uh, because they can take risks. Uh, they can ex be exposed to different uh, scenarios, uh, scenarios that will stretch them. But it is about building flexibility into people so that when they get stuck with uh, a thorny crisis and with the full range of coordination issues that come from working in a, a complex multi-agency environment, then they're ready to step up to those. Because the one thing we can actually prepare them for is the issue of relationship management. And I'd say it, it really has been the experience of the last uh, 10 or, or even 20 years that we've started to build up very strong cross-agency relationships and relationships built on trust.